Hey guys, it's Jen and welcome back to my channel. So today I will be reviewing some lipsticks and these are from Australis. So I have 13 shades here and they kindly gifted these to me and I really wanted to do like a try on slash review on these lip colors. I am wearing one of the colors at the moment, but yeah, let's give these a go and see how it is. So first off, I'm just going to give you like a little rundown on these lipsticks. So these are called the Girl Boss Velvet Lip lip creams and they are by Australis. I'm pretty sure if you go to their website, which I'll link down below, you can actually purchase these lipsticks and other products from them internationally as well, as in they'll ship internationally to you. So it says a soft velvety demi matte lip cream that is lightweight and long lasting. Feel empowered and slay all day. They also retail for $14.95 Australian dollars. It will be different if you know, you're know you converting it to US or anything like that. So the packaging is super cute. As you can see, it's just got this beautiful kind of like rose gold packaging. It looks, you know, really nice. And you do get about six mils in this as well so yeah these are so pretty i can't wait to try it so let's try out the first one which is called harmony and this looks like a really nice kind of nude but a very light nude so i'm hoping it doesn't wash me out so let's give it a go wow that is super pigmented okay this shade definitely looks like it's a little too light for me Wow, this is super, super nude. I'm not used to this. It just looks very, just not a color that I would personally wear. I think you would have to be a little bit more pale to suit this, maybe because of my skin tone. It just kind of washes me out a little. Okay, moving on to the next shade. This is called Empower, and I am going from lightest to darkest. So it seems like um, most of the shades are quite nude, and then it goes more kind of um, reddish orangey and then pinkish so yeah let's try this nude here I mean it is still quite a light nude but I feel like it suits me a lot better than the previous shade it's it's taking its time to dry down to that semi matte at the moment it does feel quite glossy quite creamy but I mean that's not a bad thing for me I don't mind that at all all right, so the next one I'm trying out is called Inspire. Whoa, literally one swipe and it's like so pigmented. I think I like this nude color a lot better. It just seems to work really nicely with my skin tone. It is more of a pinkish nude, and I usually like beigey kind of peachy nudes, but for some reason, this one still suits my skin tone really well. Okay, let's try Hustle next. Okay, this is my kind of color this is a beautiful kind of nudie brown shade and this is what I'm talking about when I talk about the nudes I like to wear this is this is it guys this is it I think I keep changing which shades I like I think I like this one better than the other one now next shade I'm trying out is called fearless Oh my god, I honestly don't know which one I like better now. This is nice. I thought it would be more of a nude, but it does have kind of like a peachy undertone in it. Next shade I'm going into is called Flawless. Sorry, I had to say it like that. I meant Flawless. <laughs> this is flawless it's like an orangey kind of shade it is quite like pigmented in terms of the shade like it's really showing up it almost looks like it has a hint of red in it but a very warm red but at the same time it does look orange as well all right so let's try the next color and this one is called admire oh okay this is a very 
interesting applicator I feel like this is one of the bad batches I got just because as you can see it's kind of like not straight it has a bit of a curve I don't think it's meant to be like that because the previous um, lip applicators did not look like this so I must have got like a really bad batch but I'll give it a go anyways All right, let's try success next. Okay, this applicator is a lot better, like all the other ones. I feel like this shade definitely reminds me more of my natural lip color. It kind of just enhances them a little bit more. Definitely a great color to wear like every day or even at night. It's super comfortable. So I've just rubbed off success and you can tell that there, it does leave a little bit of a tint after. Um, so just be wary of that. But let's go into the shade Humble. This is cute. This is cute. Don't have anything bad to say about it. But it is a pretty color. Almost there, guys. Hang in there. So the next shade is Slay. And this looks like a really kind of pretty pink, like almost like a Barbie pink. So we'll see how this goes. This is cute. But is it me? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not with this makeup look. Maybe I need something a little bit more fun. But it is a really cute Barbie pink color. For some reason, the colors that are a little bit more vibrant, they seem to dry down a lot quicker to that nice semi matte finish. Whereas the ones that were a bit more nudes, like it, it took its time to kind of dry down. It was still a little bit glossy for a while. But this shade here has kind of pretty much dried down to a really nice um, semi matte shade. Next shade is called Loyal. Whoa. That's all I can say about this shade. It is like almost like a fluoro pink. Divine is the next shade. All right. This looks like just a really pretty like more kind of like a fuchsia pink. This is a good color, good color. This is a really pretty kind of cool tone pink. This would look beautiful like for summer, for spring, if you want a pop of color. Last but not least, the last color is Passion. god i cannot get over this one swipe thing and it's just so pigmented so this is the last color called passion and i am honestly in love with this shade it's just so nice and bold but super wearable and it just feels so nice on the lips like i can't like fault that at all um, all right let's kind of talk about everything that I've tried on so far. In terms of the formula, so it is a semi matte finish. At first when you're applying it on, it will feel really glossy, really shiny, but I can definitely tell that it does dry down to a semi matte. Yeah, it just feels so smooth and pigmented when I'm applying it on just one swipe and it's like, whoa. What did I just put on? That was amazing. I feel like it will transfer though. So just be careful with that because it's not something that will probably last all day. Probably shouldn't kiss anyone with this or else they're gonna end up with a whole heap of lipstick all over their face, all over their lips. Okay, so it does have quite a sweet lolly scent. It's nothing like too drastic at all. But for someone who doesn't like scents, it might kind of annoy them. But for the nudes, I feel like the nudes were all so different. I feel like in general, all the shades, some of them look really similar in like the tubes. But when you try them on, they just completely come out like different. Very, very different. I liked Hustle. It is a really beautiful kind of nude brown. That is something that I would go for if 
I wanted to wear a nude. In terms of more color, definitely passion. I just feel like it's just this beautiful kind of bold color on my lips. I feel like they're missing that really nice kind of pop of red. They do have a red, but it's more of a warm toned red with a bit of orange in it. I would love to see that really beautiful kind of bright cool tone red. But yeah, that is pretty much it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give me a thumbs up and also subscribe and I'll see you very soon.